I actually had symptoms since I was a teenager. I had symptoms for over 25 years. It was horrible having a symptom and not knowing what was causing it. Everybody always thought I had ulcers or I was trying to get out of things. My symptoms were stomach cramping and vomiting. Allergies, lactose intolerance, and asthma. Dry hacking cough. I had flushing. I really didn't have any symptoms. I was told initially that I had a heart problem and that I was to receive a heart stent. At first they thought it was my gallbladder. An ulcer. So I was simply told that I was undiagnosed. To get diagnosed with carcinoid syndrome took me about two years. It was probably five years and I saw four doctors. Here I am with all these doctors around me and nobody knows what's wrong. Several months, it was very painful being told stuff that was clearly wrong. The actual diagnosis only took four months. Getting the right answer was the lack of knowledge. Just knowing that I had cancer, which didn't run in my family. Even though they say it's a slow-growing cancer, it's still that cancer word that scares you. The biggest thing I've learned through this process is some patience. Do some of your own research. You need to be your own advocate. Find the right doctor. To ask for help. I've been living with that cancer about four and a half years. Just over 11 years. 14 months now. Six years this month. My hope for other net patients is that they live long, happy, productive lives. I hope to be here many more years. I'm hopeful that the doctors and nurses in this country will have continued education in the diagnosis and treatment of neuroendocrine cancer. I'm planning to retire soon from my work, which I'm looking forward to. I'm hopeful for the new treatments that are coming along. I'm seeing what physicians are doing and medical companies are doing to extend my life and the lives of other patients. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, and support groups that have helped me get through this journey. I am grateful to finally have this managed. Options for patients and for the doctors who are treating us. It's an exciting time. I'm grateful for my family and friends and the support and the care that they've given me. Very grateful for all the research that's being done in this field to help people like me. Grateful that I'm still here. I'm grateful that God isn't finished with me yet. <laughs>